Hello YouTube, this is Stefan for Bushcraft Holland with another axe review. Uh, maybe you've seen my first one, but my collection of axes does uh, expand a bit. Not too much, but I'll show you all the new ones and also the old ones and tell a bit about them. Let's start first with uh, this one, it's a Husqvarna. And they sold it to me as an all-around axe and later on the name changed into a felling axe. And I do agree it's a felling axe. It's a two-handed axe. Way too heavy, just for the one hand. The edge is curved. And this thing weighs... I have to look... The all-around X is a uh, 1,388 grams. So that's almost 1,400 grams, 1 1.4 kilo. So I don't want this in my backpack. But it's hand forged, made in Sweden, and the price is very reasonable. So for all people who have uh, maybe. Uh, some uh, woodland and want to collect some firewood or make a wooden cabin something like this then it's a very reasonably priced very good axe for me too heavy I don't own woodland I'm not going to build uh, a wooden cabin anytime soon so I won't be using this anytime soon The next one also uh, regarded, or I regard, regard it as a two-handed axe, is uh, the Gransfors Brooks small forest axe. I've shown this already. And this one, the edge, is actually more straight. A bit more like a carving axe. Flat on the top. And as you can see, if I put my hand here, it's well protected with the blade. It's a very common axe, a lot of people use it. It's a bit more expensive and I do believe it's worth the money. This one weighs... Small forest axe, 1004 grams. So just, just over a kilo and it's well protected by this leather scabbard. This one I could imagine putting in my backpack if I really had to. So going to another Husqvarna. I'm checking the weight already. Yeah, they, they call it the small hand axe and it weighs 1024 grams so it's, it actually is heavier than the Gransfors Brooks small forest axe it's also more rounded which is more suitable for felling uh, wood that's not really dead Also the profile is a bit thicker. So it's more like a, a wood splitting axe to me and at least that's what I use it for around the garden and the house. Or at least I did. I'm not using it anymore or not quite so often. As you can see all my user axes they have the rubber band. It's to protect the wood and also adds comfort if I choke up on the on the axe head and do some carving jobs because you can carve with this one although it's very very heavy so um, next one is from Hulterfoss and they call it uh, the trekking axe 800 grams the 800 grams that's just the axe head 
because the total weight is 1201 1201 grams so it's actually quite heavy uh, I guess this is in between the two-handed and the one-handed but still a heavy axe I think it's a uh, very good it's also oh, by the way all these axes are uh, handmade and uh, made of uh, uh, Swedish steel hand forged Swedish steel so that's all the same I think it's a very good chopper I have used it and this is also one of the models we sell um, at the Dutch Bushcraft Association and we stand behind it but it's a heavy axe I think for me a bit too heavy to uh, take with me in my backpack also the leather is sufficient not really terrific the protection part now Ultraforce also makes uh, classic axes and this is one of them this is called the tracking classic it weighs 854 grams so let's say 850 the head is 0 0.5 kilogram and this one has rather a, a thick blade more for splitting I have new ones also and I will show you later the kind of profile they have because they are a bit thinner more also for slicing but also the rounded edge, the rounded edge, I must say, makes it very useful for uh, cutting. This one I will bring with me if I have to make a lot of firewood. It's a very nice weight, and the feel is okay. If I grab it here, then the weight is very well balanced. It's very, very, very well balanced. So no worries there. And also has good protection so I told you they also had a smaller one which already has a new profile and maybe you can see it. it's a lot thinner and this axe head is also 0 0.5 but this one is actually a bit longer than the other one and this is called the uh, Hulta Force classic mini because of the total size it's called the mini as you can see there's also inner tube around it because this one is one of my users it's very sturdy it's also very well balanced and it chops very well what I like about this is the size because you can put it in a uh, a shoulder bag, a haversack, or even if your wife has a big purse, you can put it in there. This one weighs, let's see, 769, 769 grams. All this, these weights, I'm telling you, by the way, are with the protection, with the cover because you're not, you are not going to bring just the axe, you are going to bring the cover as well so it's a very useful axe it's small it weighs a bit less than this one not too much not even 100 grams but because of the size you can take it with you easily so now we're coming to my favorite axe And this is the Gransfors Brooks Wildlife. Also, the inner tube, because this is one of my users. It's made by MM, as all the wildlife axes are. It has a very straight edge, and I can really choke up. And it's a very good carving blade, it has a slim profile. But you can use this also for carving. 
Also, it's the lightest. This one weighs 694 grams, so not even 700 grams. That's with the protection. So this could be a choice for the backpack also. Because it's the same weight or maybe even a bit lighter than a machete. Also when I bring just a pocket knife, I usually bring a, a larger knife for the larger task. This is the only axe I could think of bringing instead of the larger blade because it can perform like a large blade with the cutting but it's more expensive than the other brands so when hiking and I'm going to leave my big blade this one when hiking in addition to the big blade just for splitting wood, firewood. This one, you can also see this one is just a bit longer. It's a bit heavier, but also just a bit longer. And when I don't have too many room in my backpack or in my uh, shoulder bag or haversack, I'm going to bring this one. So this is the new review review of the access I own now. If you have questions just uh, ask me. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, there's no birds on the background this time. Just two chickens but at the moment they were quite quiet. Quiet chickens. Okay people take care see you next time. <laughs>